everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is going to be another video in my tips and tricks on how to improve your coloring skills series. In this video, I wanna share a little tip with you on how you can make it really easy to be able to have all of your color combinations that you create all in one place. And if you want to take your coloring with you to a coffee shop or whatever, and your coloring book, all you would need is your case and a coloring book. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Most of you know that I don't usually um, purchase the colored pencil cases with the uh, three slots in them because I like my pencils to be nice and snug in just one slot. But I came up with this really great idea. I just had a thought one day and I was like, I need to try this out. I need to share this with everyone. I have had so many of you tell me how frustrating it is for you trying to put your own colors together and you really love my videos where I put together color combinations for you because you can just grab those color combinations, go to my Etsy store, grab the color combination sheet and swatch all of those combinations out for yourself and have those in your binder so that they are there when you wanna plan out a coloring page. Today we're gonna to move a step forward from that and I'm gonna show you how to make that much easier. Now I purchased this case here. This is one of the cases with the three slots that if you have followed me for quite some time, you know that I don't generally use the ones with the three slots. This one is also by the BTSKY company that also sells my favorite pencil case that has just the one slot. I generally like just the one slot because I like my pencils to fit in there all very nice and snug. And those cases that I usually use are fantastic. They are as new today as they were when I first purchased them and I've had some of them for a couple years now. Okay, so we're gonna do quite a lot in this video. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna open this pencil case on camera with you and I'm gonna share my thoughts with you on the quality of the pencil case. I mean, just looking at it here in the plastic, this is how it came to me. And just looking at it here in the plastic, it looks or it actually feels like really thick and like it's very, very nice quality. So we are gonna take a look at the pencil case and then I'm gonna show you my little tip on how to be able to do this with your color combinations and make this so much easier on you taking away all of the frustration. If you check the description box down below, I'll have links down there for everything that you see in this video, as well as my email list, my Facebook group, and my Etsy store. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me over there. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so let's first check out this case. Now it did come nicely packaged. And let's just go ahead and open the plastic and pull this out here. And the colors on this are just absolutely beautiful. Now, let's look here. Oh my gosh, is this better quality than the ones I usually purchase? <laughs> wow, the zipper feels really, really smooth. And it's got really nice um, little pieces here to hold your uh, finger on to open the zippers. So it's got one zipper here that actually just meets in the middle. And so you can see I'm pulling it on both ends just like that. This is the inside of the pencil case and you can see it's got elastic here that will fit three pencils in each one of these. And then it has the flaps that just flip back and forth. So of course, you're not gonna have to open every different section of this pencil case. And let me see here, is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. So it's got two inside flaps that flip back and forth. And then it's got these spaces here on this side of the case and the spaces here on this side of the case. Now, for those of you that like this idea, after I finish the video, I will tell you I've never used one of these pencil cases with the three slots before, but it seems like really great quality. It's got this little handle right here so you can very easily take it with you. And it's really nice and thick, like it's really padded, especially in here. I don't know if you can hear that on camera. I'll be quiet so maybe you can hear it but that is very nice quality, and I think that would really protect your colored pencils. Oh, and look at this, it has another zipper 
back here on the back of it, which we don't have on the other cases. So you can even add some extra gel pens in there or some other things if you wanted to have some extra things to take with you. So I think this case is gonna work really nicely for this idea that I had that I wanna share with you today. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you exactly what I had intended to do with this case. Now I always, all the time, used to take my coloring out with me and I would take a little black Vera Bradley bag with me and then I would have my pencil case and a coloring book or maybe two coloring books and I would just take that with me and I would go sit in a coffee shop and I would color and of course since COVID and everything that is going on in the world of course I had to stop that because they closed down all of the dining rooms everywhere and you weren't allowed to just sit and just enjoy your coffee so now I have my coffee at home and sit in my office when I have a chance to color that's actually when I started this YouTube channel <laughs> And I probably wouldn't even be on YouTube if it weren't for COVID. <laughs> so it did bring some of us some good, <laughs> thankfully. Okay, so y'all know that I have brought you quite a few um, colored pencil combinations. I did two videos for Prismacolor and I did a video for Black Widow. I think this is all of them here. I did one for Polychromos and I did one for Brute Fooner. And this sheet here, this is a bestseller actually in my Etsy store. A lot of you have picked this up. So if you wanna be able to create your own color combinations and you wanna grab this sheet, I'll make sure that is linked in the uh, description box below. But I did quite a few videos. I'll link those in the upper right hand corner in case you wanna go back and you wanna get all those color combinations after I show you what I'm gonna do in this video. Okay, so. For this video, I'm going to use Prisma colors just because that's what I have right next to me. That's what I'm most familiar with. And I already have these all ready and I could show you exactly how you can do this. This is also going to help me to be able to see if I really like these cases with the three slots. And who knows what will happen because I've always been so against purchasing these just because I just love 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 my little one slot cases but if you look at this pattern here this is just absolutely gorgeous and i saw this pattern and it matches my office it's got the light greens and the teals and some gray and just such beautiful colors in here and i was so excited to purchase this and if i do like these i don't know maybe i'll switch maybe i'll put some pencil sets in these but I don't know yet, we'll see in this video. Okay, so the idea for this and having the three slots is because I know a lot of you that watch me are beginners and so you're generally um, just putting three colors together and you really don't need more than that. You need your shadow color, your mid-tone and your highlight and you're fine. And you can do that with any leaf that you're coloring if you're using greens or any other object on a coloring page. You can color an entire flower using just three colors. I actually did a tutorial where I used my color combinations and colored a flower in uh, Johanna Basford's World of Flowers. I'll link that in the upper right hand corner if I remember to so you could go back and look at that. But all you ever need is three colors and so that is why this idea is going to be so great for a lot of you that are beginners and I think it's really going to help you um, be able to just have everything together in one place to be able to take with you or just have at the side of your coloring space. So I pulled some of the um, color combinations that I had already created and so this one is light aqua, um, what is this, light green, and pale sage so this one is right here and if I'm just going to demonstrate this for you and show you how I would do this and explain to you a little bit how I would do it so that you can do it for yourself but I'm not going to do the whole entire process in this video because that would take probably far too long more than I could probably fit into a video so most of these color combinations are in uh, one color family. So we are going to do, or what I would do if I were doing this, is I would leave each flap for one color family, and I think we have enough to be able to do that in this case. So this case does have 220 slots, so that's quite a lot. 
Right now it's $20.99 on Amazon. Okay, so what I would do is I would take the darkest color of my color combinations, which in this instance it is the light aqua, and I would put this one in here first, and then I would take the second color, which would be my mid-tone, and you can see my pencils are quite short, so we're gonna see how these fit in here and if they fit in here uh, pretty snugly. So this one, I believe, was light green. So yeah, that's light green. And then my last one here is my pale sage. They do fit in there pretty snugly. It might even seem like you could almost fit four pencils in here. Let me try that and see, because at the same time showing you all this idea, I wanted to be able to really show you this pencil case. But look at that. You could actually fit four in each one. Uh, what I would do if I were doing this is I would make just this strip all green color combinations if I could and then I would go to the next one and I would do a different color family in the next one. So let me go ahead and get my other green color combination. So again I pulled it from the combinations I showed in one of my videos and so I've got this, what is this, parrot green. So I've got parrot green, which is my first color, and then my second one is true green, and the third one is going to be gray green light. Okay, so now, <laughs> now do you see why I was saying this is going to be a review of this pencil case as well? Okay, so what I'm discovering now after putting this color combination in here, these three are fitting perfectly and they are so snug with just the three pencils in there. So you probably couldn't get many more than 220 pencils in here if we count the ends. So we have an end here, an end here. So you could get a few extra in here probably beyond the uh, 220, but you're only gonna have the one extra space in each one of the ends. But these are really, really snug. Those are in there really, really nicely. So another idea that you could do here is you probably, if you wanted to, could stick a gel pen in there or some kind of other medium that you wanted to use. So I'm assuming that possibly you could get your gel pens in here. Now my gel pens have that little rubber tip on them, so they're not gonna slide through there as easily as a pencil, but they do fit in there if you wanted to preserve one of these slots to take some gel pens with you. But you also, remember, get this um, this opening back here where this is, there's a lot of space in here, so you could fit quite a few extra things in here, your erasers, your mono eraser, and whatever else you'd like to fit in there. And then on the front, you have this flap here, and they're showing on Amazon that you could actually put your phone in here. This may even be big enough to fit an iPad. So this case is going to be really, really nice to take out with you if you want to be more mobile with your, um, with your coloring. So let's go ahead and see here. So I've got two green color combinations on this flap, and then I would go to the next one and let's go ahead and put blues over here. So I have a couple blue color combinations that I'm gonna share with you. And you could use this video to get some ideas for color combinations, or you can go back and watch my other videos where I shared all of the color combinations. Okay, so what I'm seeing now is that the end of this one, which is actually inside the front flap of the uh, pencil case, this one is gonna be bigger, this one is gonna be bigger, but these on the flaps on the inside, they actually are not bigger on the very end one, so you will only be able to fit three pencils in there. Now see how we're learning right along with one another? <laughs> And that's why I wanted to open this with you all and do this at the same time on camera because I wanted to share my initial thoughts on this. But I have my indigo blue, my cerulean blue, and then my light cerulean blue. And these fit in here so nicely. I really think that I probably will like these cases with the three slots because this right here 
is so much more padded than the ones that I have purchased with the one pencil slot. Not to say that those are not great quality because they are, but I think this is just a little bit thicker. And I actually think that the other ones are probably better to keep here in my uh, coloring space and pull them out and keep by my um, you know, by where I'm coloring. And this one, like I said, would be really fantastic to take out with you or to travel with. So here I have peacock blue. So we are going to put this right in here. We've got a peacock blue, and then we have electric blue, and then this one is sky blue light. And these really fit in here nice. Like they are so nice and snug, like perfectly snug in these slots. So the only one that you're gonna have a little bit of space in is these slots here on the ends of the inside and the outside or the outer covers rather. So we've got two blue color combinations. Hopefully y'all wrote those down. <laughs> So this would be our green section, then this would be our blue section, and then we could just turn the flap right over, and we can start to create another section where, what do we wanna do now? Maybe we can put some red color combinations in here. Let me see if I put one of those together. I think I did. Okay, so this is a really pretty red combination, and this one is going to be raspberry, carmine red, and salmon pink. So I'll show you what that looks like here on my sheet. This is what the color combination looks like. And if you want to see the others, I think this was the other one that I did. And I think this is the blue combination that I did, if you want to see what those look like. But they blend together really nicely and they look really pretty together. So just like with the other side, we're going to start with our darkest color, which is going to be our raspberry. And so we would slide the raspberry right in there, and then the carmine red, and then our salmon pink. And so we have our first red color combination. Okay, and then I have another one, and this one has some reds and pinks in it. So what I would do with the ones like this when I was putting them together is I would put all my red color combinations maybe to about here on my red slat. And then I would go to the end if I had maybe a couple that was kind of a combination of colors. I would probably go to the end down here and I would start to put those because this one is permanent red and deco peach, actually pink is my mid-tone. So we've got pink and then we've got deco peach. And so I would go to the end and that is where I would put those. Of course, you could do it another way or any way that you like to do it. You don't even have to put these in color families. I just feel like if you did it this way, that would make it the easiest when you're trying to plan out your coloring page and just grab your colors and instantly have a color combination to go and apply them to your page. So if we come over here, I think I have a couple more. So we can come over here and we can do a purple combination. Now this one's a combination of purples and pinks because whenever I am putting together purples, I usually always combine, combine them with pink. So I would just put that in my purple section. Or if you're somebody who uses all purples together, of course this lavender is gonna have a little bit of purple and pink in it. But if you're somebody who does just straight purple color combinations, you can make this all purple color combinations and then you can put the last two, like I said, that had other colors down here in the last couple slots. But this one is going to be Parma Violet, Lavender, and um, Deco Pink, I believe. And let me see if I can find this one here. So this is what this color combination looks like. So you can see that that is really pretty. Okay, so then I would just take my Parma Violet, slide it in there just like that and then my lavender, and then my deco pink. And they fit in there so nice and snug. I really do like this case. And the other thing I really like about it is the one thing that I really don't care for on my cases that have just the one slot 
is I have a lot of zippers to open. So the ones that I use most often, I'll just open all the zippers right before I start a coloring page. Or like with my Prisma colors, I'll leave them all open all of the time rather than zipping them back up because you have either three or four sets of zippers here on the side that you have to unzip to get to each different flap. So the one thing I do really like about this one is you've got the flaps here to where you can actually just flip them back and forth and you only have to open it one time. And then of course this one has the really nice pockets on it. Okay, so I think we have every different um, color family. Oh, we did do yellows. Let me grab some yellows because we do need a section for yellows, don't we? So let me share a yellow combination with y'all. Okay, so I grabbed three colors that are all yellows. And when y'all are putting your color combinations together, I always suggest that you swatch them out on a piece of paper just to make sure that they go well together. But I have goldenrod, and so I'll just lay the little bit of that down. Then I have Spanish orange. Now, these two colors were part of a color combination that was pulled from my sheet over here, but I had it with canary yellow and I can't find my canary yellow, so I'm putting it with lemon yellow. So let's see how that goes together. And yep, that looks really pretty together. So if you like that combination, you would just go to the next flap and we can start our yellows here. And I believe with this, you would even have an extra flap if you wanted to put together some really out of, out of the ordinary color combinations. And another, let me go ahead and slide these in here, but another idea, so let's put our golden rod in here. See, I'm distracting myself. <laughs> Okay, so there is our color combination for the yellow. So that's the start of our yellows. And of course, we will put together uh, many others. You could even, you know, add some oranges and mix those with yellows. But if you wanted to put something together that was really out of the ordinary, you would have, let me see here. So you would have your yellows, then you would have your purples. We've got our reds, our blues, our greens. And then we still have our browns and our grays. So if we were to do a flap with just brown color combinations with this case and then gray color combinations with this case, you would still have an extra, uh, the backside of the uh, pencil case back here to do some sort of out of the ordinary um, colored pencil combinations like y'all know that I love to mix greens with pinks and all kinds of different combinations that you wouldn't even think go together. And if you are, um, with me on that and you love doing that and you've seen me mix some really crazy colors together when I've done leaves or flowers or whatever and you want to go back to those videos and put together some of those combinations or create your own, you would have this whole extra flap here to be able to put together your color combinations that are a little bit more advanced. And if you wanted to, if you were somebody who was putting together like four or five colors, you could use these slots and just double up. And if you were coloring a flower and it consisted of seven different colors, like y'all have seen me throw like seven, eight different colors in there, you could put all of those in here in the first two flaps. And if you wanted to label your case, you could even grab some labels and you could put those on there and label exactly what they are or just label here at the top and get some labels and just stick it right here to the top and put like, you know, six color combinations or seven color combinations or even label the two slots so that you know that this is one color combination, this is another one and so on and so forth. And if you wanted to, you can even, I can't imagine that you would have that many gray color combination combinations or that many brown color combinations. You could even fit those all on one slot and then you would have um, a couple slots to be, able, or a couple panels here to be able to put your crazier, more advanced color combinations on if you wanted to do that. So let's go ahead and do our browns. So I have a brown color combination. I didn't put together one for the grays because the grays are rather easy to put together if you just want a gray color combination. And so are the browns, but you can mix the browns with other things and they look really good. I mean, you could mix the grays with other things too, but I feel like I do that a whole lot less. So I've got dark umber and then I've got light umber 
And I have Putty Beige, which is a really pretty color and it goes really nice with these. And this was actually also pulled from my swatch chart here. Okay, so here is that color combination all swatched out. And then you could see I repeated it again, but I added rosy beige. Okay, so another thing you could even do in here if you wanted to is you can grab some labels and you can label it to let yourself know. And you can use this color combination, but then you can put three different highlight colors in here that would go with this color combination. And a lot of times I'll do that on my coloring pages. I will use the same colors and I'll change out the highlight color. And it just helps to spread those colors out around the entire coloring page. And I actually do that quite a lot because it really helps to bring balance to your coloring pages and I put together one more because I wanted to do just one more green combination that I sort of just put together because we are all coloring so many leaves like I was suggesting with your highlight colors if you wanted to swap out the color that you're using for your darkest color in your color combination you can do that as well and so then you would just put your color combination in here. So I've got my, what was that, grass green, and then apple green, yeah, apple green, and then chartreuse. So what you would do is you would just put that in there, and then if you wanted to make a slot next to it and label that one, and then you can just put a little label up here that says something like alternate shadow colors or alternate darkest colors. And then you would know that those alternate darkest colors went with this color combination. But I hope that that gave you all um, some new ideas on how you can do that. And after all of this was put together, it would just be so cool to have this entire thing all separated into color families so you could have like your greens and your blues and of course this is not, I did not um, put this together. This is not the normal order that I would necessarily follow. I probably would start at the beginning with yellows and then I would move into oranges and then I would go into reds. But just for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you how to use each flap for a different color family. And by the time you were done, you would have so many different colors in here separated into different color combinations. And if you wanted to grab some labels and use that idea that I just shared with you as well and just swap out your shadow colors possibly in the one right next to it. You can even put a color combination here and put something together. Then you can put alternate shadow colors, alternate highlight colors. And then you could put three more shadow colors here and three more alternate highlight colors here. And you could change up this color combination. And I just got that idea as I was putting this video together. It just came to my head and I don't know. I think that I am going to take one of my brand new Prisma color sets and I am going to use this case and I'm going to put together color combinations using my brand new um, 150 set of Prisma colors. You all know that they have dropped down so drastically in price lately. And even last week they had dropped down all the way to, I think, like under $70. And so many of you picked those up. So this video probably could not be coming at any better time because I feel like this is a great idea if you want to be able to take your pencils with you. And I know so many of us have more than just one set of Prismacolors or more than one set of any of our budget-friendly pencils. And you could do this with any pencil set. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And like I said, I was gonna share my thoughts with you on this case. This case is really, really nice. It does have much more cushion than the um, other colored pencil cases with the one slot that I always tell you are my absolute favorites. They are still my favorites, but I feel like if I wanted to take my coloring with me, this case would be absolutely perfect. You've got this here where you could probably fit it, your iPad in here or your cell phone. And this would be actually really great. Apple just released very recently that new iPad mini. I don't know how many of you are going to be grabbing that, but that would fit 
so nicely into here and I know a lot of times when I am coloring and I'm out, I am looking up um, ideas on my phone or my iPad or whatever to be able to come up with ideas for my coloring pages. So if you had that and were able to stick that in here along with all of your extra little um, you know, like maybe your stickles. I don't know if stickles will fit in here. I mean, it is pretty space spacious in here, but I don't know about that once you were to get all of your pencils in here, all 220 uh, plus pencils, how much room you would still have in here, but you would be able to fit a good amount of things in here. You could probably even put some extra pencils in here if you wanted to have extras. You could put your sharpeners in here, your mono eraser, or any other erasers you might be using to color or to erase larger areas. And there's just so many things that you could put in here. So after you get all of your colored pencils into here and your color combinations, all you would do is just grab a coloring book and your pencil case and then you would just take it out with you and this is all you're carrying. So I just thought that was a really great idea. And those of you that are gonna ask me, <laughs> this is another coloring book by Rachel Mintz that the company sent me and it's just got 120 um, different flowers in it and there probably will be a flip through coming for this one. I've just not done it yet, but if you had a coloring book like this with 120 different images in it and you just practice your flowers and had a pencil case full of your color combinations already put together, there is literally no planning. You can just grab your coloring book, your pencil case, you can have your little iPad or your iPhone stuck right in here, and then you can have all of the extra things you need in this back flap. And all you would have to do is just take it with you to a coffee shop, go sit down and enjoy your coffee. <laughs> So I hope that this video was helpful and just sitting here trying this out with you on camera after I purchased this pencil case, it just brought me so many more ideas that I was able to share with you. And so I hope all of those ideas were helpful because I'm definitely going to use them for myself. After I'm done filming this video, I'm probably gonna go grab my spare set of 150 Prismacolors and I'm going to start sorting those into this pencil case and making a pencil case for me just to be able to take out with me and already have all my combinations that I know and love all in one place. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really helps others to be able to see my video content. And everything that you've seen in this video will be linked down in the description box below. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.